What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel with only beautiful people watching. Hi guys, something cool happened. USA Today just published not only a short video interview but also a whole article about the Dynamite release and I'm super excited for that. So first of all, hey, if you're new, be sure to subscribe guys. We are here celebrating Dynamite like no one else, I feel like. Um, I'm super excited. I try to react to as much as possible. I try to spread all the news about Dynamite and um, that we are getting as much and as good as possible so um yeah feel free to subscribe if you want to be updated with the release and with bts in general and now we have the short video interview that we will react to a bts dynamite interview with yusei today entertain this um i feel like this is a segment that is uh, called yusei today and we have a little article that we will also read out loud i will read it out loud for you haven't read that either and give my own thoughts on that so let's see what they're talking about i'm really excited guys let's go link for both of them is in the description give yusei today some credit i'm only here to spread the news and to make some own thoughts on that let's go chat with one of the biggest bands in the world bts Sorry, correction, the biggest band in the world. It's about the group's new single. Uh, okay. Hi, I'm Ralphie Aversa, and Hi. here's what we're covering at Entertain This. Number one album, sold out stadiums, Billboard and American Music Awards, so what's- You don't even have to introduce them, everybody knows BTS. Next for K-pop superstars BTS. Well, as they told USA Today's Rasha Ali, a new song, Dynamite. It's the first single of theirs to be completely performed in English. What has changed with Dynamite and do you feel like by singing a song in full English? Oh, look at them! Oh, they all there! Hello! English, that has changed who BTS is. We've never expected this song. Oh no, guys. Tan with glasses again. Song in full English, He's that has different. changed who BTS is. We've never expected this song would come, you know, like even in fully in English, like you said, but things, many things have changed mm. and, you know, during the process of making our album, which we're going to release later this year, we just met this song like a, like a destiny. And, you know, when we first listened to the demo, the lyrics and the vibes and, you know, everything was so perfect. So well, we thought like, you know, why not keep it this way? Some say. That is good thing of uh, like looking at things like. Some things just happen, and if they happen to be good, just accept it and take it as a blessing that it happened. Um, things have changed, but this is a new challenge for us as well. So, you know. Yeah, a new challenge for them. And that is what I feel like is good, that they have a new challenge, because they broke so many records. They're breaking records each and every single day. And they're so, 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 so big and accomplished so many things that no one even, like, thought would be possible. So it is good that they can at least still challenge themselves a bit in a fun way. We're giving a shot. What do you mm -hmm. hope um, song will accomplish for you? We've been through all the, you know, sadness and desperation, mm. but you know, with mm. this song and performance, we just hope the world gets more positive and be happy. That's our goal. Dynamite. Yeah, it really like the trailer already sounded really, really happy, positive, dancey, like that. It's out Friday. Okay, that was it already with a little video interview. Now I will head over to the article and read that out loud for you guys. Um, you will have the full article and link in the description. I'm just making a little commentary on it and um, I don't want to publish the full article here. So I just read the important things out of it and you can um, read the whole thing on your own. I'll put it in the description, guys. And um, yeah, let's head over to the article, guys. Okay, so. K-pop stars BTS tackle interesting kind of challenge with first all English song Dynamite guys. Okay, so I will skip the introduction. Um, we all know who they are, um, but it seems that it is well written. They are just talking about some um, major accomplishments of BTS. As always. <laughs> okay, so the most difficult part of making Dynamite was stepping out of the comforts of, of singing in Korean and getting the English pronunciations down the group tells USA today. It was more not hard, but interesting. It was an interesting kind of challenge, Jungkook says. With I'm noting, there was a fun heart. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Like Cookie says here, it was interesting. And Namjoon said it was fun heart. That it was challenging. It was challenging. Of course it was challenging. Because it was something completely new. But it was also interesting at the same time. So that, that they had fun going with it. Um, because it was something completely new for them. And um, I guess that is important that you have some points or, or, or some bigger projects that are completely new so um, that you have something that still 
if you're BTS and if you're breaking records each and every single day, basically, that you still have something that is challenging to you. I guess that is important. Okay. Um, though BTS told Entertainment Weekly in 2019 that they didn't plan to sing in English because they didn't want to change their identity or genuineness. No one planned on a global pandemic either. Things change. This is a situation that everybody else around the world is facing. So we just start to explore what can we do right now? What can we do really good? Yungi says of Dynamite. And that is really important in my opinion. That is really important. I can already see the comments of, peeping, of, of people saying, Oh, you said last year that you don't want to do an all English single and now you're doing one, blah, blah, blah. People change, opinions change, situations change and circumstances change each and every single day, each and every single second. I mean, it is a good thing that you as a human can rethink and can re... I don't know, just... You, you, you don't have to... When, when you make a statement, when you make a statement, let's say five years ago, I said, I don't like strawberries. Am I not allowed to eat a strawberry all my life from now on just because I said I don't like them? Of course not. Maybe in two weeks, all of a sudden, I taste a strawberry and that is the best strawberry I've ever eaten in my life. And all of a sudden, I am loving strawberries. It is okay to change. It is good to change and to grow as a human being. So maybe they thought about some other stuff. Maybe they, as I told in the video interview, it just came naturally to them. So of course, it is okay to um, do things that you maybe have not planned to do. But if it feels right, and if you really want to do it, then just do it. No matter what you said last year, last week, last, I don't know, yesterday. Okay? So, just because you make a statement, doesn't mean that this statement has to be solid, written in stone for ages. It is good to rethink. Um, creating, a song, creating a song was like destiny, Nanjun says. Who would ever think of this pandemic? No meeting, no karaoke, no concerts. If no walking in the park. So we never expected this song would become full in English during the process of making our album. It just came to us. And that is what I love about them, that they're so open-minded for it. Like, they they, they weren't planning on doing it, but maybe the, the song was, let's say, 50 or 60% finished, all in English so far, and they just noticed, hey, this is going really well in English, let's, let's just, just keep it that way. And that is what I love, that they are so spontaneous and open-minded on things when they are working, that they just go with it. Love that. Love that. Okay. Um, Will it be the last English song? Though they don't have plans to release another, Tang says, do not look forward to it. I mean, of course. Why and, and how? This was spontaneous. It was like out of the flow. It just happened. So maybe it will happen again. Maybe it will happen again two or three or four times. Maybe it won't happen again. We have no idea. Um, but it is good that they are not promising stuff that they um, don't want to promise right now. Okay. Uh, we're in this situation that we have. What is that can lift me up? Hobby says. The conclusion is always going to be music and dance that lifts me up. So I've been trying to listen to music. I've been trying to write music, dance. And that is what I've been doing to cope with this situation. Yeah, I guess we're all doing what we can right now, um, what we enjoy doing. Like, I enjoy making these videos for you, um, sometimes more, sometimes less, uh, depends on the time. But right now I have more time, so I can do more videos for you, and that is what I love doing. Um, I cannot meet my friends on a regular basis right now because of the pandemic, obviously. Um, we cannot go out to the to the park that often, so uh, because of that I can make more videos. But that is totally fine for me because, because I love that too. And I, I guess a lot of you maybe cannot go to the sport regular that you're usually doing, but uh, you can watch more TV or you can watch more YouTube or you can listen to more music. So everybody is trying to, like, um, I don't know, do the best out of the situation with the other hobbies that they are having. Um, BTS remains booked and busy. The group is releasing their second album of, two, of 2020 after dropping Map of the Soul 7 of February. They will perform doing MTV's Video Music Awards on August 30. They are releasing a movie, Break the Silence, a movie, in September. In October, they will perform the first concert since postponing the Map of the Soul to an April. The Map of the Soul O.N.E. concert will be held in South Korea in person and streamed online. Looking forward to all of that. And through all 2020 has put us through, BTS wants their fans to remember one thing, you are not alone. I think it's hard 
to say someone has it harder or someone has it less harder. But I think it's time for us to really bring ourselves together, pull our strings together and sort of encourage everyone and overcome these difficulties together, Jimin says. Wow, Jiminy, little Jiminy put it perfect together in my opinion. No one, no, no one has it harder and no one has it easier than you. Everyone has their own problems Everyone has their own way of dealing with those problems and right now right now we just have the pandemic that is going on that everyone has to deal with. Other than that we all are having our own problems and having our own lives but um, we are never alone. Even though everyone has their own problems, their own lives, we have things like BTS or music in general that keeps us together and um, that is why I'm so proud to be not only part of the army but also part of the Flomatoes right here and that I'm be able to share the love for what I'm doing here with so many others and um, I don't know just a good statement of Jimin we all have to um, I don't know to, to stay together to go through this together and make the best out of it basically so um, yeah that was a little article and a little interview that I did with you guys today USA Today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If so, leave a like. The full article is in the description. Read it on your own. And um, yeah, have a wonderful, beautiful day. See you soon. Don't forget to smile today. Shout out to Lucas. Thank you so much for the popping Patreon. And 